Hi, it's time for my weekly OEA update uh, as we continue the coronavirus shutdown. Uh, I want to begin by uh, expressing my appreciation to Senator Sherrod Brown. Uh, a little while ago, I was on a call with uh, about a dozen of our members from around the state uh, who all shared their stories with Senator Brown. Uh, he initiated the call. He wants to hear from educators to understand uh, the impact that this crisis is having on our schools. Uh, and he certainly got an earful. Uh, he heard about the challenges that we're having with inequity in technology access, inequity when it comes to access to meals, uh, the challenges that educators are having in meeting the social and emotional lear uh, learning needs of their students and just general support, uh, the inequities that exist in terms of parental support. Uh, and the challenges that parents have and families have in meeting the needs of kids. Uh, but through all of that, uh, there were incredible stories of perseverance, uh, and I was so struck by listening to our members who shared their stories about uh, how they're persevering uh, during this time of crisis, how deeply they care about students. And I know that that's true for you. I know that whatever your role is, uh, that through this uh, shutdown, uh, that you are deeply committed to the success of students. And if you are an OEA staff member, I know that you're deeply co uh, committed to the success of our members. Uh, so thank you for all that you do. Uh, I wanna uh, give a couple uh, bits of recognition to some great work that's happening, especially by our new educator group. Uh, the one group, Ohio's New Educators, has been uh, taken to Zoom over the past few weeks uh, to do uh, weekly calls connecting with other new educators from around the state to share uh, a variety of information from uh, information from NEA on, on how to navigate student loan forgiveness uh, to just supporting one another and having fun together. Uh, this past Friday, Vice President Jeff Wensing and NEA Secretary Treasurer Princess Moss uh, were guests of our one group as they did their weekly uh, connection and we're going to be having another one uh, they're hosting on Friday at four o'clock so uh, be on the lookout for that and share that information with your fellow members. We're also paying a particular particular attention this week to the needs of our education support professionals. Uh, tonight Jeff is hosting a Zoom meeting for all ESP presidents from around the state and then we're going to follow that up with a telephone town hall for ESP members uh, that we're going to be hosting to really talk about the whole range of issues unique to our ESPs during this time of crisis. Uh, our ESP members are some of the people that are still on the front lines doing uh, some of that essential work uh, and putting their own health and safety at risk. Uh, we want to support them as much as we can. We also know that because of the financial challenges that school districts are going to face, uh, that we have to do all we can to protect ESP jobs. But uh, I'd encourage you to uh, spread the word, encourage any ESP member you know to participate in tonight's Zoom call and then Thursday night's uh, telephone town hall. A um, lot of discussions about what's gonna, what the return to school is going to look like. Uh, we know we have to address equity issues. Uh, we also know that the state's financial situation is very, very bleak. Uh, I've been in discussions with our state superintendent, with other stakeholders, uh, and we're looking at what do we need to do to make sure that we are addressing uh, the needs uh, to try to close those opportunity gaps that have really been exacerbated dur during this time, but also to provide essential uh, backstop uh, for funding. We're encouraging the state government to use rainy day funds to uh, minimize any loss of, of funding for schools and also take full advantage of federal CARES Act dollars uh, to provide um, relief for school districts so that we can minimize any cuts. We also know that more help is needed. I would ask you to join me in taking action and contacting your member of Congress uh, and your United States Senators and encourage them to do round four of COVID relief and really focus hundreds of millions of dollars in support for our public schools. Please take action today on that. And finally, uh, we are just two weeks away from the end of the election. Uh, 99 school districts across the state have critical levies on the ballot. Uh, this is also an opportunity to just exercise your right to vote in our democracy. 
If you have not yet requested an absentee ballot, please do so today and make sure that you turn around your ballot and get it in before the deadline of April 28th. That's all I have for this week. Keep up the good work. Thank you.